Welcome to Tableau Certified Data Analyst Exam Overview. If you're currently preparing to take this exam, or even if you're just considering taking this exam in the near future, then you're in the right place. This exam prep is going to help you identify any knowledge gaps you may have. It will also help you focus on what's important and it will help you build confidence in answering different types of questions while giving you tips on how to tackle these questions efficiently. I just wrote this exam last Monday, July the 11th, and the reason why I decided to get recertified was so I could provide some guidance to those of you who are preparing to take this exam. So here's how I'm going to help you prepare for your exam. First, I'll give you a general overview of the exam itself. I'll talk a little bit about the structure, the type of questions you're going to see, and the material that is going to be covered. And then I'll deep dive into each domain, where I'll highlight specific areas of focus, and then we'll also take a look at some mock-up exam questions and solutions together to help you get an idea of what you can expect on the actual exam. By the way, I will be following the official exam guide, so I would highly recommend that you guys save a copy of it and use it as a reference as we go through the material. And just so you guys know, all the information including the link to the exam guide is found in the description section of this video. The exam itself tests your knowledge of four different domains. The first domain focuses on how to create connections to data sources and transform your data. The second domain covers data exploration and data analysis. And domains three and four test your knowledge and understanding of content management on Tableau Server and Tableau Online. So things like refreshing an extract or assigning permissions or setting up subscriptions, for example. So this week, I'll be covering two things, the exam overview, as well as the first domain. And then each following week, I'll be posting content related to domains two, three, and four. All right, so let's move on and take a look at the exam structure. The exam consists of three sections, two knowledge-based sections and one hands-on lab. The first section of the exam is comprised of 30 knowledge-based questions, which can include multiple choice, multiple response, drag and drop, build list, and others. To see the different types of questions that you may see on this exam, I would highly recommend you watch a short little tutorial, which I provided a link to in the description section of this video. It's called Interactive Tutorial for Section 1. The second section of the exam is hands-on, so it's going to be performed in a lab environment where you will be asked to create content or make modifications to existing content. This part of the exam consists of anywhere between 10 to 11 tasks. In my opinion, this section was the easiest to complete, probably because I have a lot of hands-on experience, but generally the questions were really straightforward in comparison to the knowledge-based questions that you see in section 1, which were a little bit tricky. If you want to see a demonstration of the hands-on lab section, then go ahead and check out the link called performance-based tutorial, and you will find it in the description of this video. I will also be creating a mock-up lab style workbook for domain two, and we'll go over it together so you guys know what to expect in this particular section. The third section of this exam is going to be very similar to section one in terms of content and structure. So you'll see a combination of multiple choice, drag and drop, and active screen types of questions. Um, I had about 15 questions for this particular section and 10 tasks in the lab section. So you're going to be given 120 minutes to complete the entire exam. And you will see questions related to Tableau Desktop, Prep Builder, and Tableau Server and Tableau Online. The main focus will be on Tableau Desktop, but you also need to be familiar with the other two products. If you have no prior exposure to Tableau Prep or Tableau Online, I do not recommend that you guys take this exam. It may take you a little bit longer to prepare for the exam if you have to take the extra time to get familiar with the other two products, but knowing the fundamentals will significantly increase your chances of passing the exam. And another point that I want to bring up here is the fact that as an analyst, a great part of your job will require you to spend some time cleaning and transforming the data as well as managing the content on Tableau Server or Tableau Online. And so you might as well learn these tools if you aren't already using them. So the passing score for this exam is 75% and the cost of the exam is 250 US dollars. And to be honest, two hours is definitely enough time to complete the exam without rushing. Some AWS exams that I've taken in the past, such as uh, the AWS Certified Solutions Architect or the Security Specialty, 
These exams give you way too many questions, with each question consisting of five to six sentences. And so you end up rushing in order to at least read and answer them once. This exam is not like that. So you will have enough time to read the questions carefully and think before selecting your answers. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the domains that are covered in this exam. We have four different domains in total. The first domain accounts for 24% of the overall exam content. The second domain accounts for a huge portion of the exam, which is 41%. And then we also have domain three, which represents 26% of the overall exam. And a very small portion, about only 9%, is related to publishing and managing content online. Now, each of these domain sections is further broken down into subsections. So if you're interested in seeing the detailed breakdown, then go ahead and download the official exam guide. But just to let you know, I will be covering these subsections in detail in the upcoming videos. So this is it for the exam overview. Let's dive into each domain and take a look at some sample questions.